there are certain ingredients that we still eat despite being banned in certain countries. So let's take it from the top. Number one, there are certain dough conditioners, which are certain chemicals that give dough uh, a certain texture. And I'm talking about the dough that you would make in bread, specifically potassium bromate. Now, potassium bromate is banned in India. It's banned in Brazil, Canada, the European Union, and even China, but it's still being allowed in the US, despite being a possible human carcinogen. All right, number two, brominate vegetable oil. Now, this was patented as a flame retardant, but it's being used in those colorful sport drinks as an emulsifier. Now, this was banned in Japan, but not a lot of other countries. And it too is a carcinogen, as well as being linked to organ failure. Then we get to number three, propyl paraben. Now, this is that wonderful preservative in tortillas. It's in muffins, certain pies, and it's been linked to a lot of problems with sexual organs. Now, it's legal in the US, but it's banned in Europe. Then we get to the chemical BHA and BHT. This is one of the preservatives they used in cereals and dehydrating potato products. It's banned in the UK as well as the European Union, but it's not banned in the US. And number five, we have the GMO glyphosate. This is the herbicide they spray on the soy, the sugar beets, the corn, the canola, the cotton, and the alfalfa. Many European countries have banned this herbicide, but surprise, it's not banned in the US. The company Bayer, who bought out Monsanto, has about 13,000 lawsuits right now. Glyphosate is definitely linked to cancer. Now, the good news is that if you're on healthy keto, you're not going to be exposed to any of these ingredients if you're on the healthy keto plan. If you're not, I put the link down below.